Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For today, I wanted to sit down and share with you what I ended up getting in my Nordstrom Trunk Club. If you're not familiar with Trunk Club, it's a styling service off of Nordstrom. You can do it for, well actually you can do it for free. If you use my link that I have down in my description box, it'll give you $50 towards your first box to spend on a clothing item and it'll also cover the styling fee as well. So if you're interested in trying it out after watching this video, definitely give it a try. It's one of my favorite styling services. I really don't do them all that much anymore, but Nordstrom is one that I tend to go back to every now and then just to kind of test some new clothes out, get another stylist input on my style. And I feel like the stylists at Nordstrom definitely know my style now. Like, well, and it does help that I request certain things. So I did request some very specific things in this box because I'm working on a feminine fashion trends video that is gonna be coming up hopefully this coming Saturday. I'm waiting for some things to get in the mail. We had a bit of a crazy snowstorm the past week. So I had to wait for a couple things to get here. So be on the lookout for that because that is going to be such a good video. I have examples. I have, I just really did my research for that one. So I'm really excited. Anyway, if this is your first time here to my channel, I do have new videos up every Saturday. So if you want to see more content from me, very feminine and girly style content, definitely subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well because that will just let you know what time on Saturday my video is going to be up. I'll also give you my Instagram handle right here so that you can go follow me there as well. I am trying to be very consistent with showing you my outfits for the day and then just showing you things that I've been buying recently. Lots of pink. So if you like pink, you will like what I've been buying recently. <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm gonna open up my computer because I always look at the prices, the most recent prices on their website because usually some of the stuff will go on sale. All right, so this first piece is a silk cami top from, well not cami, it's a little bit more nicer than a cami top, but it is from River Island and it's in a size 10. It's in a really pretty soft powder pink color. I'm just thinking about as spring is right around the corner. We're gonna start wanting stuff like this and this would be the perfect piece to pair with like a high-waisted skirt and the material is really nice. It's definitely light so I would have to layer it up right now but it's doable. Like it's definitely something that I could work with. Now this actually looks like it might be a bit big on me especially on top. I'll definitely have to wear like a strapless bra or something. I do think that this went on sale. Yes so this one is 25% off. It was originally $40. It is now $30. So I'm gonna go try this on, come up with a little outfit and see if this might be something I might invest in. I do really like this. I love the neutral color palette that I'm getting with this outfit. It is just definitely me, very girly. So I feel like this is a really good layering piece. It is just a little bit big on me um, in the bust area, but also at the bottom of it. You probably can't tell right now how Hard. I'm trying to keep it from getting all wrinkly that wrinkled look like I'm getting right there I just don't like that. I like everything to be nice and smooth So I typically go for more fitted tops because I like to have them tucked in But I mean overall I actually think this one is pretty easy to work with even though it's a little bit oversized I usually am a, a solid size 10 from River Island and this one is pretty big for a 10 so I would actually recommend sizing down. Any chance I can get to get a little bit of pink in my outfits, I will go for it. So it's a nice cami. Could definitely wear it in the spring and summer, but also right now as well with a nice chunky cardigan thrown on top of it. I am looking for more layering basics and essentials that have that pink, soft pink color palette. And this is definitely one of those. So we shall see. I might exchange it for a smaller size, but I do see myself wearing this a lot. So I did ask for a white or like an ivory coat for this trunk club. And the one that they actually sent me at first was very expensive. It was just way outside my budget. So I asked them if they would send me something that was a little bit more affordable and that would kind of expand my style a little bit. So they sent me this jacket or this coat. At first when I saw it, I was like, okay, this is definitely not going to be my thing, but seeing it in person, I am very impressed with it. It has this faux fur lining throughout the whole inside of the coat. It's in the whole inside. I mean, this is going to be very warm, really nice to have like during this time of the year. It's from a brand called Guess, and I have heard of this brand before. I've just never actually tried anything from them. Um, I got it in a size medium. Let me look and see if this went on sale. 
So this one did not go on sale yet. It is $248. It's definitely an investment. Um, it's maybe something that I would think about if it went on sale. The only thing that I'm not that fond of is it has like all this stitching on there um, and embroidery, which it's not all that noticeable because it is a very light stitching, but it has like the branding all over it. I know some people probably really like that, but I'm not too fond of it. I actually really, really like this much more than I was thinking, especially now that I'm wearing it. I feel like it would be such a pretty piece to layer on top of all of my summer dresses. I think my favorite thing about it is this faux fur lining though. It is so cozy and warm. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually very impressed with this. I really didn't think I was gonna like this all that much, but I'm glad that I'm trying it on because it's getting me outside of my comfort zone a little bit. And the embroidery isn't throwing me off as much as I thought it would. I really didn't feel like I was gonna like that, but I feel like it kind of gives a designer feel to it. it. Kind of adds a little bit more detail that you probably wouldn't find in more affordable pieces. And the only thing that I would say I definitely do not like about it is this belt at the bottom. And I know that's kind of a feature in biker jackets, but I just, it's not really my thing. I just don't like it. It just it feels uncomfortable. And it does come across as kind of a cropped piece on me since I am a bit taller, but I could definitely see this with all sorts of different things, especially since it's a neutral color. I could use this for all sorts of different looks. This is so different. Okay, so this is actually a two-piece set. It's from River Island. Look at this color, it is so pretty. I love this blue right now. The fabric is so good too, but it's a two-piece set. So you've got this little cami that comes with it. That's cute, now it looks really small, but you have a lot of stretch in it. And it's in a sweater material also. It's like that ribbed type of material, but it's very thick. Start off with this and then you layer this very cropped sweater on top of it. Very different, but I have been seeing these coming out a lot recently. It's the River Island Camisole and Hooded Shrug Set. It was originally $75, which is kind of pricey for this, but it's 25% off, so it is now $56.25. I think that this is something I could potentially like. The only problem I'm having with it is that this shrug part doesn't want to stay on my shoulder. Right now it's staying on, but I can guarantee you it's probably going to fall off my shoulder at some point during this review. So you do have to kind of mess around with that. I love the color of it. It's so pretty. And this knit material is really nice. It's very good quality. I'm not having a problem with um, it having any type of irritation on my skin or anything. So it's good quality. It's a cute look. The only thing I'm running into is this shrug likes to fall off my shoulder, which it can't come off as a cute look. Maybe this is something that I would enjoy wearing more so into the spring because this is definitely a look that I could see myself going for. I just like that it's stretchy because it's very comfortable and I like how it looks with jeans. I feel like it's a cute look and something that I could definitely get into. Um, I kind of like how it has this hoodie. It kind of makes it very, very casual. I don't know. It's just something I'm have to play around with because I'm just not sure about it yet. And maybe it's just because I don't know quite how to style it as of yet. I don't know. I think it's really good quality. And the price point I think is pretty reasonable for a two piece set, which is definitely something that we're seeing a lot this year. I feel like this is a very Instagram outfit, <laughs> definitely. But I think it's wearable. This dress is from Rachel Parcell. It's called the Glitter Star Long Sleeve Tool Dress. The stylist put it in my box because I requested to try some Rachel Parcell pieces and this got put in there. It's a really soft, light pink dress. It has like this V-neck in the front with extra ruffles. I did get this in a size medium which I think this is gonna be a really good fit. Not wait to see what this looks like on, but it is a little bit more expensive for a Rachel Parcell dress, but it's $225. And unfortunately it has not gone on sale yet. How pretty is this? Oh my goodness, okay, so I need to go try this on. Um, always have to have a pretty dress to try on, always. I don't think I have words for this dress. I feel like this is one of those princess core dresses. It is just so cute. I love it. Where do I begin? Okay, so the top is nice and fitted. You have a velvet little waistline that comes right here. And I love this sheer tooling. I feel like that's so romantic. And the layers, I love tool. Um, I actually, the only thing, I feel like it hits me at a weird length. 
See, I would either want it to be like a mini dress style or a midi, and it's hitting me right at the knee. I don't know why I run into that problem. Um, yeah, that's the only thing that I'm not as excited about that I feel like isn't all that flattering on my shape. And I mean, it's an expensive dress too, so I would definitely want to take that into consideration. Um, but I mean, the quality of this is beautiful. It is a delicate piece, so you would um, want to be careful with it, of course. But look at all the stars. The glitter on the stars is just so cute. That length, that's the problem. I mean, in the back, I feel like the length isn't so much a problem. I do feel like the front, it just doesn't look quite right in the front lengthwise. But I don't know, I really like it. So I've been noticing that a lot of people have been wearing these gorgeous puffer coats. Actually, I haven't gotten a winter coat in a very long time. And the one that I do have to walk our dogs is pretty much broken. The zipper's broken on it. So I definitely need to invest in a good coat for like walking my dogs. That's a little bit more casual. So I thought this would be a really good fit for what I was looking for. Um, it's nice and long. I really like the long puffer coats. It's from the brand Rag and Bone. I think it's a little bit outside of my price range for getting a coat. So what I actually did, as this trunk was coming, I ended up going on River Island and buying a puffer coat. And the one from River Island was on sale. I ended up just liking the color a little bit better than this one. This one is a little bit too yellow, like too much of a yellow undertone that I don't think is all that flattering on my skin tone. But I'm still gonna try this on because I do feel like it's a beautiful coat. It was originally $695. It is 30% off, so it's $486, but still, that's still very expensive. And I do feel like coats are definitely something that I'm willing to invest more money into, but I just felt like the River Island one was just a little bit better price point for me, and it just, it was a little bit more my style. But I'm gonna go give this a try. Let's see what it looks like on. This coat is amazing. I feel like I would just love it so much more if it was in like a really pretty ivory color or something. Aside from the color, I actually think that this is a beautiful coat. I mean, the quality of this is incredible. It would definitely keep me nice and warm and toasty if I were going out to walk my dogs. But I do know that I have my River Island cream coat coming. So that's keeping me from wanting to buy something like this. You've got like this cinching in mid, um, little string right here. Yeah, I feel like that, that helps a lot. So, and I like the quilted style of it too. It's very, very detailed. So the River Island coat actually ended up showing up to my doorstep this morning. So I'm interrupting the video just to try this on really quick so that you can see what it looks like compared to the other um, puffer coat from Rag and Bone. So hopefully this will be a good fit. So this is the coat right here and I love the color of it. I'm going to go ahead and try it on just so that I can see what it looks like. But I'm so happy I arrived for this video because I was really hoping that I could show what it looks like in person um, because I feel like this is going to be a really good coat to have invested in. So I'm going to go try it on. I'm in love with this coat. I love it so much. I brought in the waist because I thought it would look nice. Um, I can zipper it as well, but I thought I would just kind of leave it open with the faux fur kind of peeking through it. I just feel like it looks kind of luxurious and it's different. It's not like something I've seen from um, brands like, I haven't really seen this at Nordstrom or anywhere else. So I thought it was just kind of like a different approach to it. It's nice and light. Um, I am noticing it's like bulking up just a little bit right here, but it does have this faux fur lining. On the inside, which I actually really like, um, it only goes like right here. So it's probably actually just the stuffing in the coat that I need to sort out a little bit, but it's really good quality. And for the price point, I am so excited about this. I feel like this is going to be my new um, favorite winter coat to throw on top of everything. I really wish I had had this before at the beginning of the cold season so I could have worn this with all my pretty white dresses and all that, but I will begin to wear it now. Um, and this is something that you can detach and it comes with a little button. I'm really glad that I bought this now because I have a feeling I would have been tempted with that rag and bone puffer coat, but this one just, I feel like it's a little bit more my style. The color is so much more pretty and light and definitely something that will fit into all the different types of color palettes and lighter colors that I have in my closet. So I'm really glad that I waited for this one. So this is an item that I had already gotten in a previous trunk. 
and I didn't buy it because I ended up buying it off of another website and it ended up being a different pair of jeans. I really wanted this pair because they were such a good fit. Jeans are just such a difficult thing for me to find. So I requested the same pair of jeans again and they are from Agold's and I wanna see if I still love them as much as I did because Agold jeans are definitely an investment, but I do feel like it's important to invest in your basics, especially if it's something that you know you're gonna wear a lot. I love this style of jeans. This has been my favorite style that I've tried so far from this brand Agold's. But unfortunately, these are too big. This size was the size that fit me really nice last time and then I waited too long to buy it and ended up getting a different one. So with this one, I'm thinking about getting the next size down. The only thing I'm worried about is that the hips fit me really nicely in this size. So, but then if I get the next size down, I might run into the problem where it's too small for my hips. I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with this. I might order the next size down and see if that might be a better fit for me. But I love this style so much. I like the button up detailing right here. I just, I really like that in jeans. I used to not because it was just more work, but I actually feel like it gives it a really nice look. So yeah, we're gonna try this again. This is gonna be my third time um, playing around with sizes, but I just wanna make sure I get it right. Because if I get this, if I buy this pair right now with this, I know I am not gonna wear it. So if I can just figure that out. I still have a couple clothing items to share with you, but I did want to share a pair of gloves that I got in this trunk club, um, which I actually added in myself. Gloves are definitely going to be a thing this year. I've been seeing them everywhere. It's going to be a part of the trends. These were such a lovely pair of faux leather gloves. This would be perfect to have this time of year. And they are from, they're from the Nordstrom brands. They are Nordstrom made. Um, they're in the color macchiato and they're $59 for a pair of gloves, which I always feel like accessories are so expensive. So pretty and classy. They actually don't feel like they would last all that long though. These ones just feel like they might, like the leather might crack on it very easily. They are very stylish, so I thought I would give them a try. I think I'm going to keep an eye out for something a little bit better quality, um, but I do like them. Ooh, okay. Um, so it looks like this is the layer that comes underneath it. This is the dress. It does have that button-up detailing in the front, which I love. Um, I got this in a size medium, and I feel like this is going to be a perfect fit. Even, it looks like it's meant to be a little bit more on the loose side, which I definitely prefer. And it's nice that they give you this to go underneath it, so you don't have to worry about coming up with that on your own. This is from Ash to the Label and is their floral print long sleeve dress. It is $89, which is not bad. Like the quality of this is actually very good. It's in a size medium in the color blush rust. So overall, I really like the dress. I feel like it fits perfectly for a size 10 and you could even size down if you wanted to. It's meant to be more of an oversized fit. So it's pretty easy to get a nice size from this dress. And I definitely have to layer it up more in this cooler weather, but I feel like this is the type of thing, like once again, you can wear this year round if you just kind of dress according to the season. It does come with this tie around the waist, and then you do have this really pretty button detailing all the way down the front of the dress, which is very, very detailed. And I'm very impressed with this one. I mean, I do have several things like this in my closet already, but I mean, I think this one is really pretty. Let me do this top. Oh my goodness, I think this actually went on sale. All right, this is a top from Reformation. Oh my goodness, I love Reformation tops. Ever since I got that Skims strapless bra, it has made life so much easier to wear these. And I love this, especially with all the Regency core, with the next Bridgerton season coming up in March, I feel like... Oh my goodness, this, this type of thing everybody's going to be wearing again. But you do have a zipper down the side, which is makes it really easy to get in and out of. You have that. And then you also have the smocked material in the back, which just makes it very breathable. And then that structured front, which kind of gives that corset look. It was originally $148. It is now $103. I absolutely love this top. I think my favorite thing has to be the colors of it. Don't mind the jeans. They're actually a little bit too big on me. Um, it's actually a size down that I typically go for. Usually I'll go for a 12, 
top in Reformation, but this one is a size 10 and I feel like it's a perfect fit. I'm actually not running into the problem with it falling off my shoulders. I'm moving them around. It's got a nice grip to it. Usually I have to get some type of fashion tape to kind of keep them in place. But this one, since it's a little bit more fitted, I feel like I'm not running into that problem at all, which is really nice. But the floral pattern is just my favorite. I feel like it's just such a beautiful, um, very Regency type of top and definitely something that I would pull out in the spring and summer and that I could still wear in the fall season as well. This is a Kate Spade bag. It's called the New York Small Smile Pebbled Leather crossbody bag. I loved it for the color. It's so cute. I'm actually not going to take this off because I don't think I'm going to keep this. I did actually already end up finding the bag that was meant for me. Um, I bought it off of the Real Real, which I will definitely be showing you soon, but I just wanted to see what this one looked like. I thought it was really cute, this style of it. I did ask for another bag as well, which this one, oh my, is all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm not going to take this stuff off because I feel like I just want to return it in pristine condition. But this is a coach bag and this is my dream bag. I feel like this is such a beautiful piece. I feel like coach is such a good brand and their, their pieces are at a good price for the quality. I just, and even at the affordable price, it's, still outside my price range for purse right now. I'm hoping maybe this year or next year I can invest in one handbag that will be in my closet forever. That will just be that classic one that I can wear with everything. I feel like stuff like this just elevates your look and makes it look so expensive. I just have really overlooked handbags and I've just realized how essential they are to really elevating your look. This is definitely a possibility, but it's definitely gonna be something that I have to wait for and save up for. So I wanna make sure I get it right. The last um, thing that I have from my trunk club is actually a pair of shoes. And I did add these in myself. <gasps> these are so pretty. I mean, I like them. I, I think what I really liked about them was the color. I love this light, light brown ivory color. I feel like it's so really nice. I, I am not a fan of the heel though. This one is definitely very clunky and that's a pretty big heel. So I got them in a size 10 and these are $150. So I do feel like that's reasonable for a pair of shoes. These are the boots and I actually really like them, especially with the dress. I feel like they're such a pretty neutral, very soft uh, brown cream color and the heel actually isn't that bad. And I do like that you have this stretch material right here. It just makes it really easy to move around in, very natural. I just feel like these are something that I would really use. Could always use another pair of boots. And these are definitely bringing a different, more casual look to an outfit and to like my more dressy um, dresses and stuff. So I feel like this is something I could actually really use. Well, I think I'm gonna put these away. I do like them though. All right, so that is everything for my trunk club. I feel like this is a really good trunk club. I'm going to have a very difficult time deciding on what I want to keep from it. I might have to come back and let you know what I decided to keep from my trunk club because I'm not sure as of yet. Um, yeah, I'll be back. So I'm in the middle of packing up my uh, trunk club and sending it back, but I wanted to go ahead and share with you what I'm going to end up keeping from this box this round. So I'm actually going to keep this top, I am so excited about this because I really do feel like this is going to get a lot of wear this spring and summer. Um, it just the neckline is really pretty too. I don't have a lot of this type of neckline with the sweetheart cut. Um, and I'm definitely starting to get a lot more of this type of style in my closet. But I just really like the fit of it. I didn't notice a problem with the shoulders. It's just a lot more fitted, which I think makes it just a little bit more wearable for me since I like to wear high-waisted jeans and just like those really pretty skirts as well. So it just works really well with the things that I have at the moment in my closet. And I just feel like it's really going to get a lot of wear. And I also just love this floral pattern. It is so pretty. Definitely something that I can use year round. So I'm going to keep this. This is the only thing that I'm going to keep in this box this round. The rest, I am packing it up and sending it back. But I did really enjoy this one. I really wish I could have kept this dress. But I'm going to wait because I'm always wanting to have an excuse to buy a pretty dress. 
So I may as well just hold off for now. You never know, it might go on sale too. So I'm gonna send this back, but just wanna let you know what I decided to keep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye.